What's up, it's your boy Swastis, aka King Light, aka Gator, and I'm here with my boy, my friend, my lifting partner, my football teammate, my former client, always a client, Alex, um, and we're gonna react to our Squattober PR party video, so... You ready? Oh yeah, I'm what, ready. What were your initial thoughts going into Squattober one, and then the the PR PR party day? <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> going into it, man, I was a little nervous because it was every day for a month. I was like, I don't know if I can do this, man. It was a struggle, huh? but it was a good struggle. Yeah, it was worth got, it. We got through it though. So yeah, we put up some good numbers. Um, so we know because yeah. we did it but uh they don't know yet because i haven't posted it um but we're gonna react to the actual video see see uh see it from the other side bash relax yeah we got professional stuff going on right now look at her he's gonna react too yeah he's been reacting hey ha. Shh. quiet time all right, let's get into it. Oh. <laughs> oh, dum dum. dum. <laughs> uh, tell the people who your who your uh, costume is inspired by. Rick Sanchez. Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. The five dollar costume I put together at the last minute. Hey. Going for it. it was cheap but <laughs> effective. 315. 315. 330. 330. We'll see. Got the Hall P using there? Oh, yeah, they're in there. <laughs> you just wait. Warming up. I was feeling pretty good here. Yeah. Like, honestly, everything my knees, my hip. Y'all wanna know my secret to big lifts? <laughs> I'm always angry. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I did that because my costume is a Hulk, in case you didn't know. That's why I did it. Oh boy. This is another warm up, I think. 180? Uh, yeah. It's like these early lifts, you really know how the rest of the rest of the yeah, day is gonna exactly, go, you know what I mean? Right? Yeah. How you feeling? Feeling good? Yeah. Look really smooth. Too. One more warm up set. It felt smoother. I'd go see you there for a yeah. second. Yeah. Yeah, you're like, wait, I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see, let's look it up. Two ten. Yeah, look Everybody my water bottle yeah. looks like somebody's dehydrated piss. Yeah, but it was. Uh, Probably can't read it. But I think a sweet tea flavor. Yeah. Be, uh, Shout out to pen and paper. Yeah. Right. Pen and paper strength. Sore next squat tober. You remember when we thought we were gonna do dead simber too or whatever it was? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. They yeah, like their lower body, man. Oh yeah. They're neglecting the chesticles, though. Shit, that, that looks smooth, man. Not yeah, too bad, not yeah. Too bad. It, it felt. Well, to be honest, I don't know if it felt good, but it looked like yeah. it felt good. I hope so. What you What you thinking? I don't know. Probably three fifty. <laughs> Somewhere around. So there. ambitious. Yeah. Three seventy five would be real nice. Yeah. 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 We'll see how my knee feels though, and my left hip. That's the other thing. I love that low bar. Low bar, yeah. Yeah. Were your elbows good for that day? Because they, they've been hurting. Yeah, like, yeah. And you had your sleeves on, too, though. Yeah. I, I was, like, purposely I like going that. up to it. I purposely went, like, high bar, uh, like, higher bar. But for the PR day, I went as low as I could on the low bar. Yeah. So it started acting up towards the end, but I made it through. 275, so that, I guess, is the first working set. Yeah. So to speak. But it's not my max, so it was still, my old max was 285 from last year's squat tower, so we're still under that. No belt though. This uh, this is why I think I went for that 350. Yeah. Because that went up without a belt. Yeah. 
I think I started dancing, but you cut it too early. <laughs> I was feeling awesome. Yeah. So 240 for you. No belt also. Yeah. Yeah. I try to wait till the last minute to throw on the belt. Very sweet. Yeah, same. Felt <laughs> good, huh? Yeah. yeah. Very smooth. Very smooth 240. There it is. <laughs> there it is. What are we doing with those? Taking them right before the. So everybody doesn't think I'm crazy. It was a trend on Instagram and TikTok. Yeah. I tried it out. Oh yeah, those those social media yeah. trends. Huh? They said it's supposed to act like smelling salts. It did not. <laughs> I was about to say, did it actually work? No. Yeah, that was funny. So what's? I wonder if uh, it was the juice or like apparently the, the actual pepper. Because I feel like the juice may like have been a little bit more effective. Yeah. Kind of like smelling salts do. Or were they actually like, like snorting the juice? No, were they were eating it. They were eating it. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I, I was. I have to admit, I was a little skeptical when you said it to me initially. Yeah. Well, I guess why smelling salts are so effective is you breathe them in, right? Uh -huh. So you get that quick. I get it like delivery. straight to the brain. Yeah. Nah, if you would have snorted the jalapeno <laughs> juice, that might have worked. 270. <laughs> 270 caught up to me already. I stole that from you, that loud uh, the stop. The planning. It just gives me hype. Yeah. That looked good too. Still beltless. Yeah. How you feeling? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Feeling <laughs> yourself. You feel yeah. yourself yeah. now, huh? So, for reference, he Alex squatted first, his whole thing, all, all the way through, and then I went. That's why it's jumping like that, and we're in yeah. different locations. So, I think he had a few extra lifts than I did, so that's why I'm not lifting right now. Yeah. 300, did you put on a bow for this one? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, go up. Go up. Right. You got it. Yeah, that. I was beltless. How you feeling? I feel good. Yeah. Belt's going on for some heavier weight. Yeah. Yeah. You got to death, but it was kind of hard to see it. The lap cut. Yeah. On. Yeah. I was like, wait, wait, wait. But if but you yeah. look at your knees, you can push, see but, yeah. your femur was uh, parallel. Parallel. Just imagine how much bigger it'll be with the belt, though. Yeah. 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 You can brace so much harder and better with the belt on. Yeah. Three fifteen. So, just for reference, Alex has hit, what, 350 before? But yeah. it wasn't to death, right? So, like, it was close, but not quite. So, we kind of was like, yeah. we won't count that because yeah. it wasn't to death earlier in his training. So, 315 was his, what you would say, like, a uh, competition. Yeah competition grade PR. So 315 was his previous PR. Yeah, and then I remember we PR'd before, and well, the whole thing going into Squattober is I wanted to really work on my form. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to work on getting depth and actually doing the compound lift properly to avoid injury in the future. Yeah. So I think I PR'd before that at proper depth around 295, 300, and from that's, there. And that's yeah. what we use for the training max for yeah. Squattober. Um, but yeah, 315, you hit that like like when we were first starting trading. Yeah. So we got that, and then we got 350, not to death though, but just so y'all know. But that's where we are now. 315. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. And it's like kind of iffy, right? Because I feel like. Maybe if you went faster on that one, it would have went up smoother, but yeah. it's like, you got there. Oh, what? Yeah. You got to find that like happy medium. If you go too fast, Thank you'll you lose sir. tightness. Oh, yeah. Nice. If you go too Call slow, me. then you it's waste energy. So it's kind of, yeah. it's kind of weird. Right mm -hmm. here. And that just comes with doing more reps. Yeah. Then yeah. Not having <laughs> reps and that will kind of where you need to go. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and I think that was my issue too. Yeah, say hi to the camera real. Be like, I'm gonna get here. Yeah, let's go. So, right, time PR. 285 PR was last year for squat October 315. I never got over 300, never got three plates on a squat, so this was like 
super high for me. I almost broke my neck. I was so excited. Yeah. But look how smooth it goes, right? Oh, yeah. It was so easy yeah. that I thought I could get 350. And we'll see if I get 350. Don't spoil it for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I remember going into it the... Uh, I think it was because we took a break over the weekend and PR was actually on Halloween. And man, that last week, you were just, you went above your training max, I think, for one of the days, just because of how smooth you were feeling. Because I don't you, think so. You grew Did your I, legs. No. Yeah, you increased so, your training max. Yeah, right? yeah I went from 95 to 97. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah. But like, this is where I almost broke my neck. Oh, yeah. Wait, you smell that? Bash farted. You yeah. smell that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, we need to add Where some weight it? on there, bro. Oh, no, that shit what was you fucked, mean, my boys? Like right there? Oh, like, broke my neck. Oh, oh, you, you like turn too oh, fast, you get a little nerve, yeah. nerve stuff. Stinger. Nerve damage the neck, but the PR was easy. <laughs> yeah. 315. Yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. Could I hit 315 right now? Probably not, though. Oh, I haven't squatted so in a minute. <laughs> Like, I front squat, well, yeah. I haven't back squat. I literally have not back squatted since that day. And I just recently got my, got to a plate on front squat again. But my hip, man. Uh, 330, big 330. Ha! Up, up, go! Yeah, go! Uh, I was really happy hitting that too because like like I said I really worked hard on you know having all the proper mechanics going into it so like bracing getting yeah. depth keeping my head up you know yeah, you almost got to my depth though that one yeah so officially this guy's stronger than me now because <laughs> I hit 350 hit 330 yeah. just on legs man just on legs I was definitely easy yeah you definitely got you got low you yeah. got like my depth that was low yeah yeah, man. Squat, yeah, of course, three fifty. And I'm trying to stop like higher than I normally go. Yeah, yeah. But I, once I start going down, I just keep going. I can't like pause. Or I guess I should practice pauses. Yeah. But uh, I'm not worried about it. The lower, the better, in my opinion. And it's actually been uh, tested, scientific research. Lower is better for glute gains than like half squats. Hmm. So 350 attempt. Hold up. Bash. Up. Up. Lay down. That's dog, man. <laughs> and 350, honestly, it did not feel like super heavy holding it. And going down, it didn't feel bad either, but, yeah. but we'll see. Right there, man. And I think if I would have just pushed harder, I think I would have gotten it. But uh, I don't know. I just you know, hesitated, whatever it was. I just stopped. You jumped from what? It was 315, 315 to 350. Yeah, that was, yeah. Yeah, that was excessive. That's don't be right. jumping that high. Yeah. If I would have gotten, th I could have got 330 if I would have jumped to 330 yeah. like you did and then gone yeah. from there. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, it is what it is. That heavyweight is deceptive. Uh, like dropping from 315 to 350 it's like deceptive because like you can hold it and it's like oh this isn't that big of a jump and then you like you know you slowly get down and you're like oh shit yeah, you got yeah, it gets harder the further oh, shit, down moment. you go yeah. yeah but like you said i think if you kind of you know jumped from 315 to 330 i think uh, you definitely would have hit that i think you can still hit that look at this guy he yeah. thinks it's his video oh, yeah hey shout out to brandon now but yeah, yeah. if i if i would have went to 330 i probably would have gotten like 340 again Something yeah. like that. Okay. But hey, you live and you learn, you know for next time. Exactly. Next October. And then what happened there? You were uneven? Yeah. And you unracked it the first time? Yeah. Take one. <laughs> Keep going, I gotta stop it. <laughs> hey, this is what happens. Honestly, it's sometimes shit don't feel right, so you gotta regroup. Yeah. Do you think that affected you at all? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Um, it's like you 
Went up twice. Yeah. Up and then back down and went up again. Yeah. So. Yeah, looking back on that, probably what I should have done is I shouldn't have bounced. I should have just tried powering through once and just called the lift. So. Yeah. And it's kind of tough, right, when you try to spot people on a PR because it's like you don't want to grab it too early. Yeah. But then the it's like there's like this much between too early and too late, and that's why yeah. he had to bail out because I didn't want to grab it because I wanted you to yeah. get it. But then I didn't get it in time, so he had to bail out like that, which, yeah. I mean, he did it with good form. And uh, to reduce injury risk, he did it pretty good. He. So, I mean, how did you feel about it, about that bailout? I feel good about the bailout. You know, it didn't hurt my back. I cleared pretty quickly. Yeah. You know, but like you said, it's hard to spot someone on a PR because if you look at your PR videos, you know, I was standing behind you and you had the guards pretty low. Mm. And you know, as I couldn't tell if you were gonna go for the bail or try to get back up. And like, I ended up like almost pushing the bar over your head when you tried to and bail. For that one, you, I don't think you touched it at all for mine. It's yeah. just, I, I tried to go, and that, again, that's how you bail. You jump yeah. out in front, don't let it fucking roll over your head like I did. Yeah. But I don't know if I was still trying to hit it or like, I don't know yeah. what I was thinking. But yeah, I was super low, so it's kind of hard to jump forward when your your ass is on your yeah. heels. So it's that gator mentality. Yeah, that's right. His mind will quit. He's gonna have to let his body do it first. Yeah, and that's why I'm always injured. So <laughs> maybe not the best mentality, but yeah. hey, hey, if you're going for a PR, hey, that's probably what you got to do sometimes. You just gotta push through it. But uh, yeah, good bail, not the best bail, but as long as you stay with that good form you'll be good most of the time. I'm not gonna say 100%, but yeah. It reduces the risk of injury. Right. It can never be 100% injury free in lifting. Yeah. Well, especially with you, it's kind of like you live and you learn, right? Uh, like lifting those many plates. I just re realized that I should have been stream recording too. Yeah. Because they don't know when I'm pausing it. Right. Oh well. We can run it back if you want. Nah, it's just more work than the editing. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch this and then I'll like do whatever. So, how'd you feel going into this one? 340? Yeah. Honestly, it still felt pretty good with yeah. the 340 because the 350 at least went up. Like I got up, I got the 350 up higher than I got the 340. Yeah. So yeah, I thought I thought I could get 340, but just that that central nervous system on shut. I was yeah. tired by then, but I was happy with the day. Honestly, three plates. Yeah. Never gotten it before, so I was happy with that. Yeah. Upset I didn't get 350, but it is yeah. what it is. Yeah. It's all relative, right? Yeah. I mean, what you know, you? We, we came up, you know, from like, what were you, 295? 285. 285, 285, like, you know, 315, bro. I mean, that's that's something. Yeah, it's a you big know, jump. In a month, too, you know, that's something. Yeah. For sure. So I would encourage everybody to do squat tour when it comes around because not only is it physically beneficial, but it's mentally beneficial also because... There are some days where, especially that last week, I was like, fuck this shit. Yeah. There was one day, I know, I just did the actual squat lift. I didn't do anything else because I wasn't feeling it, but... Yeah. It, it pushes you mentally also. Yeah. So... And I would say one nice thing is, is they don't, like, give you the whole program beforehand. It's, you don't know what's coming the next so day. you gotta jump in. So that, you can't be exactly, picking and choosing. You know? So it kind of keeps you in that one day at a time mindset. Mm -hmm. So you're not dreading something like later in the week, yeah, right? Yeah, you know? you're like, you're not looking at Friday like, man, that's the weekend I'm trying to, you know, chill. Yeah. No, yeah. you got to fully focus on that one day at a time, which is not only something you should do in the gym, outside yeah. of gym, in school, but in everything. Just look at that moment. Yeah. Try to put all your focus yeah. energy into that one moment. And that's how you get the best out of that. That right. moment, regardless of what it is. Yeah. So yeah. I th I think that program is really accessible. Like regardless of being a beginner, intermediate, advanced lifter, you know, that program works for about everybody. I would yeah. say. 
It does. Yeah. Because it's percentage based, right? So yeah. Even if your max is 135, you can still do it based on your percentages. Right. Right. And so, yeah. Like I said, I encourage everybody to do it because it's right. it's fine, especially if you got a training partner. Partner like yeah. this guy right here, man. Pulling out jalapeno peppers, <laughs> Morty, all that shit. I love it. You gotta make it fun, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely make it fun. Yeah. If not, you'll quit for sure. Right. But um, yeah, that's all I got. You got anything else for the people? I'm good, man. All right, man. So you gotta do my outro, my little peace sign. <laughs> so we'll see y'all next time. Appreciate y'all watching. Hard it up, cross it, peace. <laughs>